Okay, so I am going to show off something that I thought would be kind of cool. I don't know if this is the most efficient way to do it, but this is kind of how I figured it out. I like to use Leonardo. I like to use Leonardo instead of Midjourney and Dolly because it has a pretty comprehensive API, which means you could do a lot more things as far as manipulating art outside of the app, which is pretty cool. So one of the things I wanted to see if I could get going is their motion feature where they have a feature that'll take an image and the, you can run it through the engine and it'll add motion to it based on AI. It'll give you a four second P before clip, a four second video clip based on off an image. So that's what I have set up here. It did take that long to figure out and chat GPT like guided me a lot. So this is a setup I have right now. I like to start in general, if I'm just building like a small unit with a set of variables so you can play with stuff. And if you want to paste this into another, uh, scenario, then you can just replace these values, like these manual values right here with variables, right? You can just put whatever you want. Uh, so for starters, you'll see it right there. You'll, you'll set your image prompt right here. This image prompt is based on a famous art piece called lonely sailor, I think it's called. And then it has a motion strength. The higher the number, the more motion, the, that you'll get from the image. And not like the length, it'll be four seconds no matter what, but you'll get just more movement. Three is the suggested value. And then this variable is is public. It's just whether your, whatever you produce for the API will appear in the public Leonardo, uh, you know, they're, where they're sharing their art with everybody. And then the bearer, this is your API key, right? You'll put your API key right there. Don't share that with anybody. Otherwise they could use your Leonardo. Okay. So that's the first step. Uh, so quick explanation. I want to use this airplane thing here, airplane flow. First, we're going to generate the image. Why is it going so fast? Okay. Well, bye. Then you have to wait. <laughs> this number, you might have to play with this depending on traffic or whatever. Maybe 30 seconds is better. But you have to wait. This is not like if you use OpenAI Dolly module where it's going to sit there on the module until it finishes the process. This will send a request over here. This will send a request to Leonardo where they're going to do their work over there and they may not be ready by the time you get to this next step or whatever. So you have to give it time to wait for it to generate. Um, we're going to grab a variable, which is the image ID. We will need that later. By the way, the only things you edit are right here. You don't need to edit anything else once, once you got the, the initial details. Um, okay. So you set the image ID and then you'll create your JSON string. I tried to label these clearly what's going on. These, uh, nodes. Right. So you can send this information we, that we set earlier. It's going to be sent into the string or created with a string. Then we send the request based on a string. This is just a, a you know, basic post request. You're sending to the server the details of the JSON string. So it'll do the job for you, which is adding motion. And then you have to let it give it time to create the motion. So we're going to sleep here again. This might be even a little low. You might want to give it a little more time. Uh, but I put 45 seconds there. And then you have to send a status request. And the reason we have to do that is to get, uh, to get the details of what was created. Cause we're not receiving, like we don't have a, like some sort of web hook or server request to get the details. Like we're not waiting for that in this, this style of automation, but you'll use information that you got from the, the, the motion request will now give you information about the actual th item, actual movie that was created. And you're going to have to get that information. You're receiving that information. And now that you have that information, you could download and then like save it however you want. I, I like Dropbox. I just think it's just, I just like the interface with Dropbox. You could use whatever you want. And that's it. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Please enjoy and welcome to all the new folks.